with the offense. Esther Ruiz is the main guy, and that's my main solution right now. Jose Zokar, sure, he's he's good defensively most of the time. He was crap yesterday. He is not a great power threat. He's not a power threat at all. No more Mazzara. When you need power, he needs to be in the lineup. I've already said it multiple times on this episode. I don't care that a lefty's on the mound. Give him the chance. Give him the chance to play. Ozokar is hitting 259 as we speak right now. So that doesn't seem that bad. But he hasn't hit a home run at all this year. His OPS is 672. Seven RBIs. I mean, look, they need to try something else. I, I mean, I don't know if you if you bring Ruiz up, right? He's playing center field so far this year. I don't know if the Padres would want to start him every day. Probably not in center field. But at this point, I mean, the way that Grisham's playing, yeah, he hit a home run in this series, but he's not the same guy that he was in 2020. What does it hurt to bring up Esther Ruiz and send either Matthew Batten down or send Jose Zocar down? I know Brent Rooker's another option, but I think Profar is definitely the left fielder. I think they like Mazar to play right. So I think the ideal replacement for if you're going to send down a Zocar would be a center fielder who can play in place of Grisham. And Esther Ruiz is that guy. So far in the minor leagues this year, what is he hitting? He's hitting 343 in 71 games. He has a 470 on base percentage, a 1056 OPS, 586 slugging. Did I already say that? Uh, he's not striking out as much as he has in the past. He's got 13 home runs. And since he's been called up, so he started with double A and now he's in triple A. Since he's been called up, this is through July 2nd, through yesterday's games. Okay. Since he's been called up to triple A, where former big leaguers pitch, in 22 games, 109 plate appearances, 88 at bats, he scored 21 runs. He has 30 hits. He's hit four bombs, four more than Azoka at the big league level this year. He's only struck out 19 times. He's hitting 341 with a 463 on base percentage, a 534 slugging, and a 997 OPS. Almost an 1,000 OPS. Batting average on balls in play is 400. What, what's the damage in bringing Ruiz up and trying him in center field? What's the downside? Like, you don't want to start his clock? Like, the Padres are trying to win right now. And if you want to keep pace with the Dodgers, you got to have more production, more power. Yeah, I'm not saying Ruiz is going to be Nelson Cruz and hitting all these home runs. That's not what I'm saying. But consistency, getting on base, having the potential to drive in runs, like being more aggressive at the plate. I think that's all the things that Ruiz can give to the Padres that Grisham isn't really giving right now to the Padres. Like Grisham... He has the same approach, hasn't changed it, doesn't swing at the first pitch, and then he's behind, especially to great pitching staffs like the Dodgers. I haven't watched every game of Esther Ruiz, obviously, but from what I've seen, like he can hit pretty much to all fields. He has speed. I mean, I don't know if are there defensive stats here. Yeah, he hasn't made an error in center field. He's played center field, left field, and right field with El Paso, according to these game logs. So he's playing everywhere. Everywhere, He played center field when he was in double A. So he's gotten plenty of center field time this year. Again, I, I'm going to ask, like, what's the downside in trying Ruiz and bring, trying to bring him up? I'm not saying you have to play him every day and you have to bench Grisham, but I think he's an equal or better option to Jose Azokar, and that's what it comes down to because Profar is on the team. Grisham's going to be on the team. Mazar is going to be on the team. Then it comes down to that fourth outfielder, a Zokar or a Ruiz. I would pick Ruiz right now. So feel free, give me your thoughts. 